can imagine, right, a one-night stand for me is a terrible situation. Uh, this is made even worse by the fact I've got quite high blood pressure. And uh, no, I told my mate Dave I had high blood pressure. His genuine response was, well, you should let some out. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a fucking car tyre, you know what I mean? <laughs> then I go to the garage, you know, fucking doctors, and he's like, oh, come here, let me find your valve, you know, it's not how it works, right? So as you can imagine, it was fucking, it was terrible enough that it was, right? So we're on the bed with this, I'm on the bed with this girl, and uh, we're sort of, we're getting down to it, right? We're, we're kissing, and because I'm getting excited, my high blood pressure starts kicking off, right? So it's going, da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum Now, she took her dress off, my high blood pressure goes into another gear, right? It's going, da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum This is genuinely how bad it got. She took her bra off, and I had a nosebleed. <laughs> Face had prematurely ejaculated for me. <laughs> oh, good lord, some breasts for talking. <laughs> it's terrible. And because obviously this was quite a shock for her as well, she was so surprised she had a nosebleed as well. Right? <laughs> Suddenly, these two people sat on a bed naked with nosebleeds. It's like the worst episode of CSI ever. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I have a lot of problem with women. Um, I think part of this is because obviously you want to get with a woman of your own age, right? And I look a lot older than I am, apparently. Um, I used to do <laughs> I used to do a bit at gigs where I'd get the audience to guess out my age, right? and I had to stop because they always said like 30 or something. It's terribly demoralising. Right? I'm actually 22, right? Um, yeah, thanks for laughing. This is my <laughs> I did, I, did, I did a gig in Oldham recently, uh, back over in Manchester, and um, I, I said that, I said, oh, I'm actually 22, and a guy came up to me after the gig, and he goes, uh, oh, nice gig, mate, but um, how old are you really, right? <laughs> and he just went, no, really, mate, I'm 22, and he just walked off and went, funny guy, funny guy. <laughs> I just can't turn this shit off. Um, so, yeah, no problems. <laughs> I've got to work recently. I'm, I'm fucking sick of work as well, right? I, minimum wage pisses me off. Is that, are we... Uh, Part-time jobs or anything in on minimum wage? Yeah. yeah, it's fucking shocking, isn't it? Basically, I hate the concept of minimum wage. I hate the, what it stands for, right? Because it's literally the minimum an employer can pay you, isn't it, right? It's like your, your boss is saying to you, I respect you the least I am legally allowed to. <laughs> and it's always the shittest jobs as well. I had a minimum wage job, and it was fucking, it was one of them, I used to be a door-to-door -door electricity salesman. So I'd go around knocking on doors, trying to get people to change their electricity suppliers, basically, you know what I mean? Um, and not only this, but I used, to, um, I used to train foreign students who came over to do door-to-door -door electricity sales, right? And this is all fine, um, until this one guy I had, a big Bavarian German guy, right? he was like six foot eight, and he was wonderful, and his English was absolutely perfect, apart from one thing. He used to pluralise the last word on a sentence to change the context of that sentence completely. Now, again, this sounds fine, until you realise that when we knocked on a door and they didn't want to change electricity suppliers, we had to leave them with the sentence, thank you very much, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> now, my good friend Hans here would pluralise that sentence to make it sound the most threatening thing that has ever been said in the history of time. And can you imagine the fucking threat that you get when someone knocks on your door, says, would you like to change exercise? You say no, and they go, Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your days. And just leave. <laughs>